guys, welcome back. Recently in a video, I mentioned that I wanted to test out the new Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. And the main thing I saw in the comments is that you guys actually want to see a comparison between the Bad Gal Bang and my all-time favorite Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be doing this video in two parts. First, I'm going to try out the Bad Gal Bang Mascara so I can get the full effect and also share my first impressions. And then later in the video, I'm going to apply Bad Gal Bang on one eye and Roller Lash on the other eye so we can see the difference. Both of these mascaras will be linked in the description box down below, but let's get into it. Alright, so now that we are up close and personal, this is what the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara looks like. This is the packaging, and then this is the wand. It does have a plastic wand, which is my personal favorite. You can see the wand just slightly tapers off at the end and gets a little bit thinner, and the plastic bristles are quite densely packed, which in my personal experience, that works really well for me. I find when you have a plastic wand and the bristles are too far apart, you get that kind of what I like to call triangle lash where it kind of groups all your lashes together in points and it doesn't separate them or fan them out very well. And one of the first things I noticed as well is that the wand is very very flexible so I feel like it's going to be great for getting into those little hard to reach areas. So I'm just going to start off by curling my lashes with my Shu Umira eyelash curler just like I always do. And we're just going to dive straight in. So a few things about this mascara while I apply it. First of all it is supposed to have 36 hour wear which is just crazy. I don't know who would ever need that. That's definitely not something we're going to be testing out today. And it is also supposed to be a volumizing formula, but from what I've seen and heard, it actually seems to be a lot more lengthening. Like a lot of you guys actually commented and said you didn't like it because it didn't give your lashes much volume at all you found, which actually appeals to me because I'm one of those odd people who prefers length over volume. It's also supposed to be very lightweight. It won't weigh your lashes down. It's also supposed to be pitch black, which I can attest to. It is very black. It's also supposed to be water and smudge resistant. And it's formulated with vitamin B5 to help strengthen and condition the lashes. I'm really trying to get this wand at the root to help build up a bit of curl. But that is what one coat is looking like. And I have to say, I think I really, really like it so far. I mean, you guys can see the difference right there. It's obviously a little bit exaggerated because my lashes on this eye aren't curled. And I do feel like it did a good job gripping all of those little lashes. It definitely did add a lot of length. I feel like it did thicken my lashes a little bit, but I understand where you guys are coming from saying that you don't feel like it volumizes that much because I don't think my lashes are much thicker like towards the base and towards the root. By the way, if you are wondering what is on my eyes, it is the ColourPop Element of Surprise palette. I got this in my April Boxy chart and I unboxed it over on my Instagram stories and it is still a highlighted story on my profile if you guys want to watch it just by the way. But let's go ahead and do the other eye. So we're going to curl once again. Alright, so that is the second eye complete. I definitely do feel like this mascara does kind of clump together my lashes a little bit more than I was expecting. The formula isn't clumpy at all. The formula is nice and smooth, but I don't know if you guys can see what I mean. Like on the outer part of my eye here, the lashes are just kind of grouped together a little bit more than I would like. I do love how intense and black it is though for someone who doesn't typically wear eyeliner. I feel like this is doing a really good job defining my eyes. I do feel like the curl has just like ever so slightly drooped. One of the big claims is that they do say it's lightweight, but it is a very wet formula so I feel like it just ever so slightly like took my curl down just the tiniest bit. I zoomed you guys out a little bit so you can get a better feel for the full look but overall I'm loving how this looks. I feel like it just added such a nice like flirty feminine little touch to my makeup look. And yes I am a one coat of mascara kind of gal. I feel like if I did apply a second coat of this mascara it would definitely group my lashes together even more and I don't want that to happen. So I think what I'm going to do I'll probably check in with you guys just in a few hours. I find my lashes and my mascara doesn't change much between when I first apply it and the end of the day. Like I never really experience smudging or flaking or transferring or anything like that. The main thing is whether or not that curl is going to hold or if it will continue to droop. So I'll check in with you guys in a bit, but so far my first impressions are really great. So it's a little bit later in the day now and the mascara is looking pretty much the same. I feel like it still has a really good amount of curl. Once again, I feel like it drooped just ever so slightly after first applying it, but it still has a really great amount of curl that I'm totally happy with. So from here, I think this mascara is going to be a winner. So now it is time for the side-by-side -side comparison. I already applied Bad Gal Bang to my left eye. I figured you didn't need to see me apply it for a second time. Like I said before, Roller Lash is what I consider my personal favorite mascara. For my lashes, I like a really natural, 
wispy, just kind of fanned out look. I like length and curl. That's primarily what I go for. This is what the wand on Roller Lash looks like. Once again, it is a plastic bristle wand, and it just has a very slight curve to it. The bristles on the top section are a little bit longer, and then on the bottom, they're quite a bit shorter. This mascara is inspired by hair rollers, so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to kind of hook on at the base of the lashes with those shorter bristles and just kind of curl the lashes upwards to get that nice curling effect. This is supposed to have 12 hour wear. And just like Bad Gal Bang, it is also formulated with vitamin B5. I tend to just kind of flip the one the other way to grab my little outer lashes. So I think they actually look pretty similar. The main difference that I'm seeing is that with the Bad Gal Bang, I feel like my lashes are a little bit more defined. They're just a little bit thicker and a little bit more pronounced. And with Roller Lash, I feel like the wand does do a better job separating the lashes. So all in all, I really like the Bad Gal Bang mascara so far. My one complaint would be is that the wand is so long and so straight and I find that makes it a little bit hard for me to maneuver it around my lashes just because I do have such small eyes. So it's kind of hard to get the lashes positioned the exact way I want them to and they end up looking just a tiny bit messy I would say. I feel like the wand on roller lash is a little bit easier for me to control. I do understand why some of you guys told me that you weren't a fan of this mascara because I feel like the vast majority of people are looking for a ton of volume in a mascara. I feel like my taste in mascara is a little bit more niche since I like more natural looking lashes, but this does add a lot of length and like I said, it does thicken up your lashes considerably. Right now with this look anyways, I think I'm actually preferring the Bad Gal Bang mascara. I think if you have similar taste to me, this is definitely worth checking out or if you're just a fan of Benefit mascaras in general. Like I said in a previous video, I've always been a fan of their mascaras. They're real roller lash and I do like this one now as well and I was even a fan of the original bad gal lash so if you like benefit mascaras also I would say it's definitely worth checking out I know the differences are pretty subtle but I'd probably wear roller lash more on natural makeup days and bad gal bang on days like today when I want to be a little bit more glam but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and hearing my quick thoughts on the bad gal bang mascara give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it or find it helpful go follow me on social media I'm at Sarah Rianne on Twitter and Instagram I post on my Instagram stories all the time and Twitter as well. I'm very active on both and hit that subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel. But thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys!